90% of US cheese has now been infiltrated by one of the world's largest biopharmaceutical companies, Pfizer, and it has GMOs. Traditionally, cheese is made with just four ingredients, milk, salt, starter culture, and animal rennet, which is a clotting agent that's used to curdle milk into cheese. Today, there are four different kinds of rennet used in the cheese industry, and reports are stating that the most commonly used kind is a genetically modified version called FPC, or fermentation-produced chymosin, made by Pfizer. These alternative rennets are both cheaper to use and speed up the aging process, which, like always, means greater profits. The crazy part is, no one knows that they're eating this or how it's really affecting us. Because this FPC rennet is labeled as grass, or generally recognized as safe, it creates a loophole that exempts Pfizer or other companies from having to label these products as GMO. And due to Pfizer's massive amount of wealth and power, it's now made its way into about 90% of our cheese. But how is this affecting us? Because this is newer technology, we don't yet know for sure, but there has been a number of researchers addressing concern. After all, the only unbiased safety study used to approve these FPCs was evaluated by this short-term 90-day trial in rats. However, researchers are concerned about its toxicity, or the biotoxins from GMOs, as well as digestive issues for humans, as these rennet alternatives can serve as an allergen. While I'd love to present you with a list of cheeses to avoid, as well as the ones that are safe, there's just way too many cheeses out there. So if you can, look for the kind of rennet or enzyme used in the cheese. I would seek out animal or traditional rennets first, then potentially some vegetable rennets, and I'd avoid cheeses containing any microbial or genetically modified rennets altogether.